Oh, hey traders, welcome to the video. Please pause the video and make sure you understand the disclaimer before proceeding. Traders, I just posted this US 100 trade signal into VIP. Let's show you this one. Okay, here we are in VIP. This is the screenshot here. And what I want to do with the video is explain the strategy. Running off our signals, basically, we got the dot. Look at the divergence, strong divergence. We've got the dot, we've got the down triangle. Okay, my entry is a little bit aggressive, but we'll go down to the one minute. So that was on the three minute. On the one minute, look at it. Okay, so we've got everything. We've got this big extension, divergence kicking in. We've got the dot, our down arrow, and a red break. So what I'm interested in here now is the manipulation. It's ranging, we get a little bit of a dip down, we get a bit of a, a shakeout, and now we just watch this roll over. What you're gonna get is, this is gonna look to rebalance, so it'll wick back. Okay, we have this price gap here, candle left, the low, candle right to high, get a bit of a touch here. And we have a price gap in here. Let me just show you this. Okay, candle left, candle right, pull it across. Okay, wicks up, lower highs, starting to see lower lows, lower highs, and I mean it can it can wick up in here. This range through here will build liquidity as uh, a lot of retail shorts this. There will be liquidity building up, so I mean don't be surprised that they head up in here. In any case, there's a few other things about this. If we go down to the fifth, we'll go out to the 15, I should say. Okay, we've got this big move up, 15 minute. So we can see this thin candle here. We'll actually pick up the candle left, candle right. Okay, that is your range. Okay, we have a gap here, 15 minute. It's overlapped here. There's a 30 minute price gap here as well, nested, and then on the five minute. Okay, so what I'm expecting is this to trade back down, looking to rebalance. Five minute, okay, this candle here, candle right candle left price gap now we're just waiting for this now this is a bit aggressive if you want to you can wait for the break and retest of this before you enter i do tend to get in well i like to get in fairly early so i'm, I'm down at the one minute looking at a one minute time frame but if uh, you're running with the, our signals well you got the dot the triangle i mean if you really think this is worthwhile then you can get in up in here but uh, the other thing too that's important with this is if we go back out you need to mark up we'll just go to a three chart layout all right this is a four hour it's traded back up okay for the four hour order block is really up around this level here this thing could could travel up a little higher so we can mark that as a 4h the other thing though is this level here is acting as resistance right through okay so that's where we're trading at the moment around here now if we go down to the one hour or or a 30 minute you know, we just mark up these higher time frame levels let's just have a look at this on say the one hour look what we've got here there's a one hour order block right here that's where it's trading at the moment pull that through so i'm really going off that but giving it a bit of room to breathe in case it does decide to uh, travel north. Okay, so you want to mark up these levels. I mean, the video is taking a little bit of time, but in reality, I mean, I look at this in an instant and I make a decision. In the video, I'm just voicing, you know, what I, what goes through my head, but it, it's very quick. Straight away, I come in here and I see this. I see this extended move here, and we've got on the one hour, look at this price gap here. When I see a gap like this and, and an overextended move, it makes sense to me that, you know, we should see this pull back. So, the, I mean, there's always a risk, of course, but, you know, that's the, the risk I'm willing to take. Can it go against? Of course it can. But what we have is an edge in the market that gives us a higher win rate. So every now and again when we, we lose one, and if we, if we manage our risk well, it's irrelevant. It's just part of the cost of doing business. And then the reward comes, you know, if this travels south, 
we close 70% and then trail 30% or whatever we're doing, I mean, that's, that's your payday. The key to this is letting these winners run. Okay, I'll close 70% around here. And it makes sense. Okay, we've got a one hour. Actually, what have I done here? Hang on. That might be a 30 minute. No, nope. I don't know why I've got that. 15. All right, so it's marked up. And there's our levels. Okay, so if we so go down to a five minute. Okay, you can see this price gap here. Target one. Good spot for a uh, our first target. Coincides with this 15 minute OB order block. Five minute support level and at that point then we pull our stop loss down in the money and we see if we get a bit out of it in terms of following our strategy the higher time frame is definitely bearish we've got the four hour in our favor under the cloud the pull back into the mean so i mean that ticks a few boxes right there quite like that so that's the four hour out of the way and then over here this is our strategy we go to the 30 We'll just pull that up. On the 30, it was bearish under the cloud. We've traded into the cloud here. I'm okay with that. This is a pullback. We're looking for the retrace and the opportunity. Can it go the other way? Yes, it can. Absolutely. Sometimes they do. Right? If smart money is looking for you know, some of these higher levels up here for our order block, then yeah, that can travel up. So this is why I've set up my stop loss above the... 30 minute our cloud the dots and we've got this daily level here of resistance this yellow line the other thing we've got well yeah yellow line is a daily this white line is a monthly right so we've got this daily level four hour ob combo stop loss in here okay i'm, I'm okay with that yeah and i mean a higher time frame our multi time frame indicator gives us a tick we've got the tick on the 30 we've got checkbox on everything it ticks boxes so this is let's give it an 80 percent win rate okay we've got an 80 percent chance that this is going to go in our favor 20 percent chance that it <laughs> wiggles around here and takes us out part of the fun but you know the the secret to this is managing your trade well and i've gone into detail in my last video watch my last video on go back into discord i actually place it into trade ideas down here but watch this day trading strategies trend continuation trading plan tutorial that was a kiwi dollar trade we we had last night but this is a good tutorial as is this video so i think with that let's see how we go with this one you know i mean look the win rate is the thing and managing your risk well it's in my risk management video but if we go into join vip over here you can run through I've checked everything this morning. Okay, 83% win rate. Okay, you can match these up in VIP. They're all in there. So if this is of interest uh, and you want to join party, here's the link. So join Discord. The link is below. It's free. And then when you're in Discord, go to join VIP up here. And then down here, there's a link to the website. Pop in here and from $10.95 a month and there's some other options. People seem to like this lifetime thing. That's quite popular. Okay, guys, with that, have a great day, safe trading, and we'll see you in the next video.